We don't need stricter immigration in the UK. We need a bit of common sense. This is going to create some arguments this morning, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I'm one for skill-based people coming in. Um, but I agree that there has to be some control, but there has to be more common sense. For example, the 18,600 rule is stupid. It doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of labour jobs that we rely on people coming in. If you look at the farmers and how they get people in from Moldova and other places to work the farms because they struggle to get the right labour, but also the prices in the supermarket keep their costs right down, um, they're reliant on migrant labour. And I was reading something today regarding settlement because they're pushing this anti-EU thing um, that the people already in the UK um, will settle here and take the pensions, etc. If they're already settled there, there's nothing you can do. If we left the EU, it makes no difference. They've got a right of settlement in the UK. They're already in the country. It will make no difference if we left the EU. Um, they're already here. Simple as that. They're already in our system. In the same way, I'm in the Spanish system. It's very difficult to remove me from Spain. Um, so forget that. It's got nothing to do with the EU. But now I'll talk on something a bit broader. The reason I think there should be some skill-based is skill-based is not revolving um, around salary scales. Because salaries mean nothing. Um, the salaries in the UK, we often pay certain individuals like MPs far too much and let them put whatever they like on their expenses, while at the same time they're scrutinising the small business over a Kit Kat constituting a lunch for 59 pence. I don't know how much it is these days. I'm sure with UK's excessive costs, it's probably a £1.20 or something now. But the last time I bought a Kit Kat, it was 59 pence. Um, but the point being is, if we take a look at some figures from 2014 uh, relating to the number of migrant workers within the NHS, 11% of all NHS workers are migrants. 26% of the doctors are migrants. So you, the, the fact is the UK needs these people. And this isn't to do with salaries. This is the important bit. I want to make this very, very clear. Because the Philippines all, um, also supplies to the UK. This is 2014. This has probably increased since then. Um, it's 12,744 nursing staff. So what can you say about that? These people shouldn't have a right to come to the UK to work. Or if they do come here, they shouldn't be allowed to settle. Now, my personal view is if you want people to fill these gaps long term, I would let them settle. There's reasons for it. The first one is agencies will charge the NHS and then steal from the um, member of staff. Um, for example, they will get the NHS to pay for a flight and they may get the staff to pay for the flight as well. So they've they've took a thousand pounds there, say. They then book the accommodation, the NHS pay for that, they then get them the person to pay for it as well. They get them to pay for training, they get them to pay for the visa, they get them to pay for everything they can do. So it can take months to actually earn their first pound in the UK. If these people were allowed to settle with the NHS, they could scrap a lot of these agents because they could actually come here and all that money that's wasted that nobody talks about would be wiped out um, because it wouldn't need agencies. Now, these jobs are permanent jobs that are constantly going to need be needed. The UK population has an increasing uh, old age population. So you're not going to get less nurses needed, you're going to get more. We can't train them in the UK. The fact is, many of these nurses get trained and they'll go to Australia, the US, in the same way as the people in the Philippines come to the UK. They go for a better life. Now, the advantage if somebody settles in the UK is they're paying into the pension pot, they're paying into the NHS system, you're getting away from agencies, and you've actually got people that are bringing all their money into the country. As a migrant, which I can actually 
say I am a migrant, although I have a UK passport, I do not save any money in the UK. I take everything overseas. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't owe the UK nothing. It doesn't ask me, in a nice way, to be British. It, it's a bit like the Filipinos. It's sending sending people to the Philippines to recruit them and all these big billboards, go and work in the UK. Go and, and then when they get there, all you get in, this media, in the media is, we hate immigrants. And you're thinking, so you want us to come here, but you don't want us here. We've learned nothing. I, you know, I, historically, it's not done us any favours. It's why there's so much racial equality, which is pushing rights from minorities above the majority because people are going, oh, historically things didn't work out. We've learned nothing. Um, but the point is they've now introduced this six-year rule. The six-year rule is you've got your own over, I think, £35,000 a year or £36,000 a year within those six years, otherwise you can't settle in the UK. But we want those people there. The nurses are important. The, the nurses are needed. The nurses are going to be needed in larger quantities. Why does that make any sense? And this is why I think a skill-based system is more important than a figure. 18,600, just pulled out the air by the bloody Theresa May I can't stand. Oh, 36,000 is the minimum. I, I'm one of the few people I know um, within, say, Worcester, that earns over £36,000 a year. Though, if you can't get the local population to earn it, why should you expect people coming in from other countries to earn it? But also, a lot of the jobs they're taking up are the jobs nobody wants to do. When I was at Southmead Hospital, the guys doing the portering were often, obviously all African, of certain description. Um, they some of them don't speak English. They, it, it doesn't really matter for moving things around. But the point is, they were relying on getting those people to do that job. When there was the big deep clean of cleaning the entire hospital to make it clinically clean, there was about 300 Polish cleaners. I don't know what the UK is asking. It seems to want its cake and eat it. Um, my personal view, if you need the skills, then make it skill-based. It's not biased, it's not unacceptable, it's actually a bit of common sense. You could actually set a skill base and financial base, or put them something similar, so that if somebody's got these skills, we want you, like a bit like Australia, but if you've got X amount in the bank and businesses overseas and can prove it and actually show that it's real um, then why couldn't you come to the UK because all I'm seeing at the moment is this oh well we don't want to appear racist we don't want to appear this I mean, all I'm seeing is dithering where I think the UK actually needs a solid system for immigration I think we need to value Filipino nurses a lot more than we do I also think we need to value the doctors and dentists and other members of the medical profession that keep people alive on a daily basis and at the same time are reading headlines in the newspaper on how the Brits hate immigrants. Let me know what you think.